here are some problems related to circles for the SAT math section, and in particular, when you need to complete the square for a circle. I'm gonna go through the steps and then explain kind of why they make sense as I go. So number one says convert the equation x squared plus y squared plus 8x minus 6y minus 13 equals zero into the form x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And this is kind of the, the standard form for an equation for a circle. So how do I go from here to here? Well, the first step I'm gonna do is just add 13 to both sides. I just want x's and y's on the left and I'm gonna move my constant to the right. So I'll add 13. I'm gonna end up with x squared. And I'm gonna do one other thing is I'm gonna put my x's next to each other. So x is next to each other, y is next to each other. So x squared plus eight x plus y squared minus six y is not gonna be equal to 13. Now I'm gonna complete the square for both x and y separately. And the process for completing the square is I take half the coefficient of x, so half of eight is four, and I'm gonna get x plus four squared. Now, x squared plus eight x isn't exactly equal to this, so I need to do one other thing. I need to change this side of the equation in one way to get this. But first of all, let's see what x plus four times itself, or squared, would become. I'll write this out. This is going to be x plus 4 times x plus 4. If I FOIL this, so x times x is x squared, x times 4 plus 4x, another 4 times x, so that's another plus 4x, and then I have 4 times 4 is plus 16. And I'm going to combine like terms here, so that's going to be x squared plus 8x plus 16. Now, if you notice this, I have x squared plus 8x, and I have x squared plus 8x. So that's the exact same. The only difference is that I get plus 16. All right, so I'll, I'm going to look at what I need to do in just a second for that plus 16. But first of all, why do we take half of this 8? Why do we take half of the coefficient of x? Well, because then when I multiply it out, I get x times 4 and another x times 4. Since 4 is half of 8, if I get that twice, that's where my 4x plus 4x gave me 8x. Okay, so that's why I take half of that number. All right, now what do we do with this 16? So what we've done in going from x squared plus 8x to x plus 4 being squared is that this is actually 16 more than what we had at first. So what I have to do to the equation on the left side here is I need to add 16 on the left side so that now this is equal to this. If I add 16 on the left side, I have to add 16 on the right side as well. Okay, so I've, I've kind of finished with x, what I need to do. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with y. For y, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to get half of negative six, which is going to be negative three, and I'll square this. This, if I were to multiply all this out, I'll write it up here, that would become y squared minus 3y minus another 3y plus negative 3 times itself would give me 9. And that's where I get together here, this is going to be negative 6y. So the difference between what I had originally here and what this is, it's the exact same except for this plus 9. So this time I need to add 9 here to the left side of the equation, I need to add nine here. Okay, so 13 plus 16 plus nine. 13 plus 16 is 29 plus nine is going to be 38. So I've done the first step of, of this, or I've, I've solved this, this question here, which is I put it in this form, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So there is my equation. Number two, what's the center of the circle from question number one? Well, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. It's the equation for the circle. Okay, and the center is going to be at h comma k. 
So what, what is H? What corresponds to H here? X minus H, X minus negative 4. So if H is negative 4, X minus negative 4 would give me X plus 4. All right, so H is going to be negative 4. And K, Y minus K, Y minus 3. Well, what corresponds to the K here is the positive 3. Not negative 3, but positive 3. Okay, so there's the center. What is the radius of the circle from question number 1? R squared, in place of R squared, is 38. So if R squared equals 38, I'll take the square root of that. And R would be equal to the square root of 38, which doesn't simplify. So that's the radius of that circle. Number four says, convert the equation 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 16x minus 24y plus 51 equals zero into the form x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So it's very similar to the last set that we had, except this time I have 4x squareds and 4y squareds. So I'm going to want to divide everything by four. And my first step before that will be to subtract 51 on both sides. So I don't have a constant on this side. So I'm going to say 4x squared plus, I'll put my, my x's next to each other as well. So I would actually get minus 16x plus 4y squared minus 24y equals, I'll subtract 51 on both sides for that first step. So I'll get minus 51. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So let's come over here. So we'll get just 1x squared minus 16 divided by 4 is 4x plus this divided by 4 is going to be 1y squared minus this will become 6y equals negative 51 over 4. So now I want to complete the square for x and y separately. For x, I'm going to get x minus 2 squared. And to go from x squared minus 4x to x minus 2 squared, what would I have to add? I would have to add negative 2 times itself, which is 4. So I'll say plus 4 here, and I will add 4 on this side. But instead of writing just plus 4, let's write it as a fraction of fourths, because when I add fractions, it'll be easier if I have fourths, a common denominator. So I'm adding 4 on both sides. I'm adding 4. I'm adding 16 over 4. Okay. Now, just to review again, how do I know that I'm adding 4 here? Let's just multiply this out. x minus 2 times itself. x minus 2 times x minus 2 equals, I get x squared minus 2x. That's x squared minus 2x. I'm going to get another minus 2x there. And I'm going to get a plus 4. x squared minus 2x minus 2x. Well, that's the same as x squared minus 4x plus 4 is what I get. So this part that I've underlined, that's the same as what we had here, right? Except I've added this, this plus 4. So I'm showing that here. I'm adding plus 4 and I'm adding 4 right there. Moving on, I'm going to do the same thing with the y. So I'm going to have plus y minus 3 squared. I'm going to take half of negative 6, and that's negative 3. What will I have added to both sides? Well, negative 3 times itself is what I'd get. So that's going to be plus 9. And I need to add 9 here, but I'm going to write 9 as how many fourths? That will be 36 fourths. Okay, so this equals on the right, let's see, negative 51 fourths plus, I'm just going to add these 16 and 36 is 52 fourths. So negative 51 fourths plus 52 fourths is going to be 1 fourth. And so I've written this equation in this form that I wanted, which is kind of the standard form for a circle. And that will help me figure out the next question, which is what's the center of the circle? Remember, it's x minus h. h corresponds to 2 plus 
uh, or x minus h squared plus y minus k, k corresponds to three, and that's my center, it's two comma three. What's the radius of the circle from question number four for this one here? Well, let's see, I'm gonna, let's just compare with, with our form. So we've got x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. r squared is 1 fourth. So if I say r squared equals 1 over 4, and I'm going to take the square root here, I would take the square root here as well. And when you take the square root of a variable squared, you have to do plus or minus on the other side, except the radius will only be a positive distance. So in this case, I don't have to do that. That will give me the square root of 1 over the square root of 4, which equals 1 over 2. So the radius of that circle would be 1 half. I can double check. If I square 1 half, right, so if, if this equals r, and if I do that squared, so 1 half times itself, that should be one fourth, which is r squared, and that's what we had, so that matches. So with these circle problems, you wanna just double check to say, hey, do I need the radius, or do I need r squared? Because if you're gonna put it into, into this form here, you need r squared right there. So that's just something to look out for with anything with circles. Do I need the radius or the radius squared? So that was completing the square for circles for the SAT.